Well, imagine waking up one day and seeing double, and now imagine not being able to find out why or if there's a way to fix it. That's what happened to an 81-year-old homestead woman, and CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez tells us what went wrong. I went through so much and didn't know what I had. I saw double vision. It started in June of last year. She woke up one day and saw two of everything. She went to the doctors, but they gave her no answers. The neurologist said, uh, Sylvia, you're a very healthy woman for your age. Before seeing double, she was driving, involved in her church, played bridge, spent time with the Red Hats Club, and this. This is the coffee pot. She painted on China. That's my pride and joy. For five straight months, she says, she had double vision. She says it was her husband who inspired her to stay active. My handsome husband. My husband had heart catheterizations, I think nine or 10 times. And I thought, if he can do it, and he lived through all those years, I can do it. Sylvia was married for 58 years. We had a lot of fun. They raised three kids, nine grandkids, and four great-grandkids. Well, I was 79 then. 79, uh, she doesn't have much longer to live. Uh, come back and see me in six months, if you're alive. And I mean, she, he didn't say, if you're alive, but that is kind of, the, that was the turning point for me. Two doctors, a slew of MRIs, and several blood tests, she was sent home again with no hope. If you feel in your heart that this is not the time for you to go, keep going. She kept pushing and got one last opinion and finally the surprising diagnosis, an aneurysm on her eye muscle. It's a weakness in a blood vessel. That Dr. Eric Peterson, director of endovascular neurosurgery, says Sylvia's aneurysm was the size of a nickel and it was pushing on nerves that come out of the brain and go to the eye, causing Sylvia to see double. I didn't have headaches. I didn't have symptoms that would have told me that it was an aneurysm. If untreated, her condition would be permanent, but Dr. Peterson had a solution, a new procedure to relieve the pressure on the nerve. Dr. Peterson got to the aneurysm on the eye muscle through an incision in the groin. So there's a newer device out now that's a stent that allows the blood to be redirected away from the aneurysm. April the 9th, on the Thursday after Easter, I woke up and I looked up on the wall because I have a TV on the wall. And I only saw one TV. And I turned the TV on and it was so bright. It was just like a miracle and I was seeing normal again. Sylvia is doing great. The specialist tells us most people don't know they have an aneurysm. The only symptom is a headache. He describes it as the worst headache you've ever had in your entire life. It comes all of a sudden, it's not gradual, and doctors say it should not be ignored. Elliot Rodriguez, CBS4 News, tonight.